Okay, Sisters fans, a recent video got dropped about some of the cast, um, I guess you could say kind of teasing the evolution of their characters in Season 8. And I, th I could be wrong about this, but I think that this is a multiple part video series because this particular video that was dropped uh, only showcased uh, Gary, Sabrina, Maurice, Aaron, and Danny. I think, you know, in the coming weeks, I mean, there's, well, less than two weeks, what is it, 13 days from now, from when season eight drops on BET. So I think the next video we might have like, you know, Crystal, uh, KJ, Ebony, Deval, um, you know, all up on there um, talking about their character, um, you know, changes and things like that. So we shall see. I could be wrong, but we shall see. So this particular video I want to focus on, well, the five characters who we got. And the whole thing itself is almost like, what, uh, like nine minutes long or something. So, uh, well, yeah, eight or nine minutes long. But obviously, you know, you know, the usual copyright. Well, then again, I don't think it's copyright claim. I could probably post the whole thing, but I'm not. I will leave a link in the comment section below. Pin it to the top. That way you can go check out the full video for yourself. Uh, it is cool to get the character or cast giving their insight about their characters. Uh, I'm not going to lie though, but then again, they are, I, I suppose they are speaking from the perspective of season eight, but I think for the most part, they're just talking about the evolution of, hey, from season one to season seven. Cause I think even though we said like, I can't give too much away. So yeah, I feel like that's a good indicator that, you know what? Not going to get too much intel on it. We just got to watch and see. But I will say that I disagree with some statements because it, it kind of made me laugh. I, I, I think of like four specific moments that had me, you know, I had to pause the video and go like, ain't no way. Like they, they said it with a straight face. Now, Cheeto talking about how Gary has a big heart. And I'm like, no, he don't. He only cares about himself and what he wants. Do I think he loves Andy in his own toxic possessive way but it's gotten to a point where the obsession is only due to a sexual drive i mean the man's out here sniffing panties now, i feel like that's a clear indicator that you know he a little fr freaky but hey like i said back when he first was caught doing that at the end of episode one of season seven by penelope i am not going to kink shame but I do feel like the only reason he quote unquote wants Andy is to not lose. And let's remember the only reason he wanted to get married was due to the whole thing about her not being able to testify against him to the fed. So there's that, but Gary having a big heart. That's a, uh, I highly disagree with that. Now, Sabrina, I can't, you know, Novi is a very, and I'm not simping here. I just gotta say like, and, and I feel like everybody agrees. Novi is a very beautiful woman. And it, I mean, we know Sabrina for her um, unique taste in fashion, but I believe, and I, I hope this is the correct description of the outfit. When she's sitting on the couch in like her denim outfit, like uh, what is it like the, uh, uh, the, the denim, like, you know, shirt jacket and then the jeans. She looked adorable. I, I just love, I, I just, I feel like, you know, with, with consent, of course. If I ever met Novi, I just want to give her a big hug because, you know, her smile, the skin, her personality, I think it's amazing. But enough of me, uh, you know, simping aside. Um, I, I know that her character has been described as like, I know she was confused in season one and I'm thinking to myself, so Novi, no offense, but confused is the best way to describe Sabrina throughout the entire course of this series. I don't think the, um, <laughs> the, uh, I can't even think of, uh, Blanche from the Golden Girls. Wasn't that, uh, Betty White's character's name, Blanche? I, I know Pam gave her that description in the last season, but yeah, she talks about how, you know, Sabrina was uh, trying to come out of her comfort zone and try new things with Calvin, but obviously things didn't work out it's like when that relationship ended these two were never in a relationship uh she she basically knows what she wants now she mentioned the whole bank robbery and being arrested and then the whole shift between season six and seven of her wanting motherhood you know it was just a switch that got flipped on it, it i still say it came out of nowhere but 
I guess when you look at the real world um, comparison of once women hit a certain age, a biological clock, yada, 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 they want to have kids. Uh, I guess that makes sense. But some people, honestly, I didn't despise season. Wait, did I? Re I feel like I did not like season seven, Sabrina, all that much. I wouldn't say it was a worse, but I remember saying like, yo, she trying to trap Rich and this, that, and a third in a way she kind of did. So I don't know. I love Novi. Not so much Sabrina sometimes. So, but I remember doing a video a long time ago about out of the core four group of sisters, if there was one I would date or at least go on a date with, it would probably, yeah, it would no doubt be Sabrina. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. Okay, next up you have Aaron who, well, he talks about, you know, <laughs> or actually, um, he, he talks about, you know, how when Aaron was first introduced, he was kind of militant and whatnot. And then after his uh, wife took her own life, uh, his wife took his her own life. You know, he became really depressed and whatnot. He really kind of lost that assertive, assertiveness. And it actually makes sense now that I think about it because, you know, he just now got a uh, remnant of his backbone recently when he finally told Karen off. So it almost seems like Aaron kind of, um, you know, belittled himself, you know, made himself smaller in order to accommodate Karen because after losing his wife, uh, well, heck remember he quickly got a divorce and then next thing you know bop she killed herself and now karen was pretty much all he had minus that one jennifer chick from the parking lot uh so yeah he talks about how you know now with the baby coming and whatnot or babies coming and whatnot uh we're going to see probably like a different side of him but yeah i wouldn't say aaron evolved it's almost like you know he regressed as a character due to his own emotions and Basically, a super simp. That's the best way to put it. And now he's kind of turning around to his old, old self, but I don't even know. I, let's just watch season eight and we'll probably get more insight on that. All right. Um. Then we have Maurice. I don't have much to say because you all know I'm not the biggest Maurice fan. Um. Season one, one of my favorite characters, but then he's one of those characters kind of like Tiffany Haddish where... The, the the character is good in small doses, but when you give the person way too much screen time, screen time, it screams like, okay, you're trying too hard to be funny. But hey, d don't get me wrong. I think season seven Maurice was one of the better iterations we've gotten in the past several seasons because while he's still Maurice, he was kind of toned down a bit. Don't get me wrong. He's still Maurice now. He's going to have those moments where he goes on those, um, you know, rants and whatnot and throwing shade. But at the same time, I think what made Maurice a uh, not so great character was the grace in the storyline, which made no sense. I mean, what made me laugh was when Brian said Maurice has learned a lot of lessons. And I'm like, are, are you freaking kidding me? Now, to be fair, though, he did kind of slow take it slow with Grayson because of the Q thing. Now there's that. But at the same time, there was a lot of off screen stuff with Grayson involving like, wait, when the hell did he move into the apartment in this, that, and the third? And like, why did um, Maurice change his career for this dude he just met? It is like, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And then the whole hiring him back to the bank was ridiculous as well. But uh, then, you know, the whole thing about adding more gay storylines to the show, I don't think we need it. That's just me. That's just me because I just feel like um, Maurice doesn't really need that because I feel like his character is big enough of a personality to not be restricted, uh, restricted to a storyline about his sexuality. However, it would be interesting to have a um, storyline involving his mom because remember at the end of season three i believe when he went off on um sabrina about his father you know taking his own life or something then his mom not liking him because of his sexuality this that, and the third i feel like that could be an interesting storyline but i don't know if we're ever going to get it so yeah that's all i have to say about that last thing danny i was laughing because she basically said tony is giving danny 
the consistency and the nurturing that Preston never did. When I tell you, I just say, okay, they say the best for last year. Mignon's going to defend her character. Hey, 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 you know what? Props to her for doing that. But I, I heavily disagree because of the fact that, you know, she did mention the one scene I really love from season one between her and Preston at the kitchen table. This was towards the very end of season one. But then like the next morning he left, but it's like, you tell him to do something. It's like, you need to do this. And then when he does it, you get all in your feelings about, it. I don't know. But yeah, just Tony being, oh yeah, yeah. Cause Preston didn't have a bitter ex-wife or two bratty ass kids that steal stuff, but whatever. Yeah. Tony, Tony's the best choice, Danny. Yeah. It's, do you boo boo. All right. Well, yeah, this is a good video. I hope there is a follow-up with uh, more cast members giving a breakdown of their character evolutions. That's really all I have to say. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.